this is my video of the Hallmaster 800 pound capacity full size truck rack for the Nissan Frontier 2019 um, basically it fits very nicely there are a few hiccups when you're dealing with this model truck but as you can see you could shake it um, as well as here's the front picture I wanted it for my canoe uh, I didn't want the headache rack I wanted this because I felt like I could do more with it um, but yeah uh, I felt like it came out pretty good it took me about four hours to do the install uh, you definitely need an extra set of hands because it's heavy you don't want to ding up your truck it's got a little give here and there's a reason for that and I'm gonna have to adjust that but um, I did the clamp for right now because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it and when I got it on I felt how sturdy it was I just decided I'm gonna keep it but it's so hot it's 91 degrees right now in Georgia that I'm just going to uh, bolt it in later um, but here's a few hiccups I ran into on the pressure clamps here first off I think they need to make these bolts shorter but maybe that's better for other trucks as you know in the Nissan Frontier if yours came with this little extra rack for these things here um, and multiple other things you can do with these which is really useful uh, you don't really have anywhere to put these it's very difficult and what happens for me if you're going to use that it's offset and somewhat crooked uh, again I'm gonna bolt these in um, but I wasn't sure if I was wanting to keep it so as you can tell it's crooked it's my beautiful wife did most of the work but uh, yeah see it's just crooked here um, and as you can tell it's just they're pressured in there but the racks there or whatever they're called the rails uh, are in the way um, a little crooked still sturdy though just crooked uh, I'm gonna bolt it in though um, so here's another thing I ran into I'm guessing because of the size of the pickup truck you can't see it because this was the extra bar that was sent with it but I kind of put it in there weird I'm going to have to uh, this extra hey no spitting anyway uh, I'm going to have to these are brackets to hold these two sides of the bar together and what I'm gonna have to do here because of the way the truck works out we really did not have any option to put it where it's supposed to be which is midway so what I'm going to end up doing and as you see there's a little give that was the best we could get it in there I'm gonna drill a hole and just put my own bolt and nut there and tighten it up but this is supposed to go in between here but because of all of this and the size of the truck really doesn't fit but I got this whole rack for 250 um, opposed to some of the t more tactical wraps you're looking at 800 well over a thousand dollars at points um, and I love the look of the ta tactical look of the Nissan Frontier, but that's not in my budget. So I went with this ladder rack, which is going to be great for the canoe. Also, when we haul, uh, we do long-term trips for our dog. We keep them in the back. We can put a few curtains up when we stop or put an overtop area. We also keep a, a fan back here for him. Um, and we don't stop for long. But yeah, the rack overall... Uh, every piece was there um, the assembly I recommend there's a YouTube video of a man putting one on a Dodge Ram it was very step-by-step -step. the instructions for me um, they were good but they were a little cluttered on there um, and somewhat overwhelming but uh, so I definitely recommend the guy doing the let's see if I can get that outside view here kind of under my carport here I definitely recommend the step-by-step -step video uh, he has a matted black rack on YouTube and he puts this exact one together 
um, that is what helped me. It took me a total of three hours to put the rack together in my basement because it was raining. And then I had to turn uh, and wait the next day to get my wife's help putting it on the truck. Um, but yeah, it's got pretty big clearance there. So keep that in mind. Again, I could not find one video of this exact ladder rack on this Nissan, but personally, I actually don't mind the way it looks. It does come out a little much, a little bit more, a little bit more than I wanted right here. But honestly, when I sit in my truck, I can't see it. Um, another thing, um, it's just gonna be clutch for getting in and out of the truck. I don't think it's gonna hinder much for hauling things. Um, and theoretically, if you wanted it to be able to be taken off and on, that is there, but this keep in mind, this weighs 160 pounds. That is a lot of weight for one person. And it's also extreme, extremely awkward because I think it's 138 inches long. Um, and uh, um, I think it was 28 inches tall. And that actually extends on upwards. It comes with extenders for taller trucks. Or if you just wanted it to be taller, uh, I don't know why you would want to, but uh, yeah, you theoretically can make this Joker pretty tall. But that's pretty much everything. Um, it was a bit of a doozy getting it balanced and leveled. Uh, again, uh, with my lack of experience with any kind of racks or anything. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to get a good overall. It's freaking hot and sunny. And there it is. I probably won't post more, more pictures of this at all because I don't really post pictures of things too often anyway. There's through the tall bushes. Kind of getting an overview of that. 250 bucks. Honestly, the cheapest one on the market. Harbor Freight. Couldn't find it any cheaper. For me, it looks great. If you look up some of the tactical racks they have out there, um, I do want to point out, it was very difficult to find. Um, again, they get very expensive. They do make them that go into the racks, uh, rails, but, I mean, you're talking easily triple your, your money. Uh, also, there were some other racks that come with some side pieces that come down for water containers, gas containers. There was one that even came with uh, a board for, like, if you need to haul somebody out, you know of the jungle or whatever you can put them on the life rack board or whatever and i'm just thinking i'm not gonna i don't know if i'm gonna do mine that way but i'm definitely gonna try to get something to hang down some water totes and give it that tactical look um and also i did want to point out my daughter has a lemonade stand and we were calling we were hauling crates as you can see i put this chair back here to kind of show you uh my idea for this was i'm gonna put up a curtain here and it's just gonna say uh, li lemonade stand or something and a curtain over there and I'm gonna put a little fan back here um, for her um, and maybe one over top so she can sit in shaded area and let her from the truck bed I'm gonna take that out from the truck bed I'm gonna have her kind of sit right here and then be able to sell her lemonade um, for you know whatever she wants to sell it she's only seven but she'll be able to sit in the shade and hopefully have some um, a fan going back here um, to sell lemonade and it, and we go to a lot of parks and you really don't want to set up a whole thing so it's like okay I could just put it in the back of the truck have a nice little easy setup and then when we get there kind of just pull our curtains you know up and clamp them clamp them clamp them clamp them and it's just versatile that way but mostly i got it for the canoe which i could have got the headache headache rack but again this is going to be you're going to pay a little more money but i think this is just more versatile for what i wanted um but yeah here's one more image of best i can do right there this is the nissan frontier with the Hallmaster 800 pound capacity rack um, and it looks good I mean it looks real good um, yeah 
All right, thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any cool ideas for this rack, just let me know in the comments. Um, maybe what I can do to give it a more uh, aggressive tactical look. Um, because again, it's not going to really be utilized for ladders. It's mostly for just little personal things uh, over the years. Um, again, I was going to get the headache rack anyway, so I just spent the extra money to get this, uh, which will, I think, just give me more to work with. Um, but yeah, if you got any cool ideas or maybe cool images you want to share, um, please feel free to share them. I, I'll definitely check them out. Thanks, you guys. Bye.